Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to Minecraft. So, in between episodes, I did some hunting, some level grinding, so stuff. I actually got a bunch of eyes of eye of enders. Uh, I actually ended up because of my loot sword. Ended up getting like three from a few of them. Um, I use my mine cart and my mine shaft thing over there and I actually found like six endermen in there. Uh got a bunch of armor or er, levels, got my chest plate of protection, leggings of projectile protection, have a bow of power and infinity, uh diamond shovel that I went and upgraded. So I have some stuff. And then I went and looked for a stronghold of sorts. And eh, there's little kitty cats over there. But uh yeah, I went and looked for a stronghold off camera because I had like seventeen eyes of enders. I actually ended up losing one because they did the uh going to the ground thing. And that's where we're going to go today is uh, yeah, I don't have it on camera, me searching for it, but honestly, it would have just been me running around choosing a random location and testing if the eye was going to react at all. So I didn't really feel like trying to put that on camera because honestly that would have just taken forever. It would have. And I just I did not want to uh clog up my video or the series with just another running around randomly with no idea of where to go. Okay, sorry about that. Game freeze, all that. Anyway, um, you can see I've made a few of these arrows, kind of like I did when I found that first mine shaft, and I kind of built back to it. So, uh, these ones are a little bit better in the fact of I can tell which direction I'm supposed to be going. Um, it's r really rather just straightforward because I just go this way and then, you know, keep going forward in this direction. There's a little mine shaft thing. And then I believe it's like over here. I actually want to go around this way. I think this is the only spot I forgot to put an arrow. Yes, it is. That's the only spot I forgot to put an arrow, but you can see that uh, there's another one over there. So, uh, that's... I don't know. I, I found that putting these little arrow landmarks is the best way for us, at least me, and I really should have just ran around the uh, edge, but oh well. Yeah, these little arrow landmarks are the best way for at least me to uh, find where I'm supposed to be going. But uh, let's gather some food because I forgot to bring some. What? You didn't die right away? Okay. Oh, there we go. Got some food. Now we just go this direction. And when I get to the point where the stronghold was saying it was, it's it's rather obvious where the eye was going down. And I didn't use the triangulate method of using two eyes and figuring out where to really dig. I just went where the eye landed and just called it good from there. So it should just be this way yes right here so here's my little area that I was digging down to hopefully try and find it because honestly I have no idea where it is I was just you know digging here and saying hopefully this is it I'll probably build a little stronghold or a uh, stronghold. That's what I'm looking for. A little fort of sorts out here. Oh, there's my... I had 18... I guess I had 18 eyes. 
Not 17. I can't remember using two. Whatever. So, yeah. You can see this is where it is, obviously. Or where I think it is, anyway. So, I'm... I guess here I will dig down the other direction. This way. See if I can find anything. Put some torches up. Or at least one torch up. Mm. And as I said, I'll probably build some sort of little fort uh, around here. But who knows? Okay, so we'll start this spot. Dig this way a bit more. So, hopefully, I can find some sort of indication of a stronghold around here. So I don't have to, like, strip mine or anything. Not that that would be extremely hard, especially with my pickaxe I have. But, would be annoying. So... Well, I hear open space noise, so that's a good sign. Hopefully I will find a hole somewhere. Let's put a torch up. Let's try going back. And that... Aha! What is this? This is a dungeon. Oh! Silverfish! No! This is Stronghold! Okay. Good. Good, good, good. So here we go. Here's Stronghold. So I have found my way into one. Where am I? I don't know. There's a skeleton. So I've actually found a stronghold for once. It's probably the first time legitimately finding one in uh a game. Some more iron ooh, and some diamonds. Okay. That's that's not too bad of a find. So yes, I will most likely build this into some sort of little area. Here's an iron door. Kind of weird. Obviously a jail. Is it just me, or does it look like there's either a mine shaft that intersects it, or a second stronghold? I don't know. I've never actually found a stronghold, as I said, legitimately before, so this is kind of new territory for me. I'm kind of thinking a mine shaft is intersecting it. Yeah, 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 I know, skeleton. I, I'm actually really not sure at this point because it's kind of like a mixture of maybe not. I mean, are strongholds just normally this gigantic and big and not really expecting this? Or, oh, no, it is. It actually is a uh, mine shaft that inter intersected it. Okay, so I was right. I was right that mine shaft intersected the. Uh, Stronghold. Bunch of iron, though, which is always nice. Not like I really am needing it, but uh, yeah, it's nice. So, is a mine shaft here, which is kind of sad that it's cutting up my uh, stronghold, but uh, survive as long as. I have access to 
what's it called? Come on, just let me up there. As long as I have access to the Ender Portal, which I'm hoping that didn't get like obliterated, that'd be that'd be sad, actually. Okay, so here's this. Actually, I kind of think it's two strongholds next to each other too. This weird... Yeah, it's really odd. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I can find... Okay, this just kind of ends. See if this goes anywhere. And it doesn't look like it does. Okay. Stupid mine shaft. Yeah, so it's... Oh, here we go, here we go. I found it. Let's just get rid of that really quick. So here we go. Here's the ender portal. So I'm not quite sure where it is in relation to where I want to go stronghold in the stronghold. Okay. So where am I? So this is towards, here's where I came in. So if I go over here and turn left, like a little chasm there. Little, oh, it's going to say, room, can't get out now. I can just break down the door. But I can come over here. That leads downstairs. Then this leads downstairs. Then this leads to an ender portal, which I luckily brought all my ender. I have enders. So I now have an ender portal. But don't have any wood to craft any sort of uh, workbench. So, seeing as I have a stronghold, actually I think two strongholds, and a mine shaft and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, I I really want to be like, yes, I am going to go and call this good and go to the end but at the same time I'm very questioning if I would be able to survive the ender dragon or not I, I do have quite a lot of good armor and stuff so I'm not really thinking I'd die very fast but I'm not extremely sure of myself so let me build a little fort out here, kind of like what I did with the mine shaft I found. Not going to be anything big, and not going to be anything special. It's just going to be a tiny little hut that I can come back to easily. And I'll probably build uh, tracks out here, possibly. I have not decided yes or no on that. So let's see. Start one, two. This one's just going to be three high. I think I the last one I built was like four or five high. But this is just really going to just be a small little hut. Yeah. I'll leave that open to be able to put like a window there or something. Do, 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 do. There's my door. There we go. Come on, where's some more cobblestone? There we go. And my little hut 
is coming along nicely. Just have to put a roof on it. Now I don't need I don't need any fancy roof. Just a little a little square hut. Put a torch there, a torch there. Torch outside. Put down a crafting bench. Make a furnace. Put that down. Put down a chest for now. I can store all the stuff I'm not going to be using right off the bat. Keep these in my inventory. I have enders because I don't really need those any anymore right now. Just store my other things. Actually, I'll use the iron door and make make something. I think a button, a stone button. Here, spider. I have no idea where it is. Cook two stone. Okay, where are you? You're just bugging me now, spider. And I don't, I don't see it. Whatever. Let's just dig up a little bit of sand so I can make a, uh, what's it called thing. There we go. Uh, f glass. Oh, how do you get inside? Oh, yeah, my, <laughs> my windows, duh. Okay, there we go. A stone button. Oh, I need I need some more, or else I won't be able to get back in. Oh well. Let's cook up my glass. And then the button or get the button working. I'll just put one button here for now. Actually I I want a third one. I want a pressure plate inside and then a button outside. So I'll have the button there. And iron door, so button in. And wait for glass to cook. At least one more so I can make some glass panes. And then cook my cobblestone. And then cook more meat. There we go. Transfer those two. Eat the meat. Get the glass panes. And here we go. So I have a little bit of view outside. Have a little bit of that. Grab the iron. Cook the iron first. Oh, only needed two. Oh well. Put that down so I can leave easily. Get in. And there we go. So I think I'm going to save the rest for next time. I'm. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm decently prepared. I'll just cook some food, uh, bring some potions of, grab some more potions, I guess. But uh, I think in the next one, I will try and go after the Ender Dragon because, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, pretty, I, I think I'm prepared to do so. So, yes. So, next episode, I guess, going after the Ender Dragon. So I'll see you guys then.